Well, we're right up at about a year and kind of when I was first getting into this YouTube stuff, I did a review on this like six months ago, maybe kind of a, not a very good video, but everyone seemed to like it. So uh, I thought I'd do another one a year later and oh, got a scratch and uh, just uh, let everyone know what I think about it, if I still like it, if if it's falling apart, you know, what kind of what's going on with it. We've been, you know, I use it every day. So kind of how it's been holding up. Um, it's kind of a home, home shop business. So it's, you know, not full on, let's say it's like a severe duty use, but it's, a lot more than your average homeowner use. Um, I'm a fleet mechanic as well for a local power company. So I have a toolbox down there with all my good tools. So this is kind of just what I got for my little side hustle home business. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, yeah, still been holding up pretty good. Nothing's really falling apart. Everything's still, works as it should. Um, nothing weird about the drawers. Everything's still smooth. And now that it's all loaded up, you know, like, you know, all the drawers are getting pretty heavy and they still, they still feel good. So nothing to really complain about there. Uh, kind of some bad things, I guess, or some things that I have not too keen on. Um, we had a wildfire this summer and we had to evacuate and I had quite a bit of time to get out of here. So I was loading up all my like expensive stuff. That's kind of a bitch to replace. And like, so first thing to get thrown on the trailer was this because just buying all these specialty tools and hand tools and stuff, buying all that over again, what a pain in the ass. So like, um, we, I unbolted the 54 inch one off the side, but what happened was when we put this thing together, I just ran all the bolts in with a, with a little, probably like a nut driver or something. But so all the holes are powder coated inside. So what happened is when I tried to take it apart, uh, two of the bolts, they got galled up and basically the, the bolts wouldn't come out. So I couldn't separate the two. So that was super fun. Um, yeah, They're, the bolts are like down in a pocket and I mean, it's like a fucking nightmare. I got one out and then I was able to like, like kind of like pull the box forward a little bit and I was able to get a, a long like demo bit on my Sawzall and, and get in there and snip it off the, the middle of the bolt. So, uh, and I seize all the bolts. If you ever want to take it back apart, uh, and I seize everything or run a tap through the holes, get all the powder cut out of there because as good as they are, they're still China, which I mean, everything's fucking China nowadays, right? So, but the hardware, you know, you can tell it's, it's China hardware and it's probably grade five or whatever, which it doesn't need to be grade eight. Like you're just holding shit together. But, uh, so that's one thing. Um, the, the plugs being on the front here, I don't use them just cause they're like, if you got a long cord, it's going to be hanging and then it's in your way and you're like pinching it. So I just, I'll bring you guys in for like a little overview at the end, but I mounted a power strip right here and I got everything plugged in there. So that way your cords and shit aren't hanging off the end. So, um, I do like the like the grip latch on the snap on, or and some other brands have different stuff. Um, I do like that better. Um, this these have those little adjustable catches on the side. And first I thought they were pretty pretty cheesy. I wasn't too fond of that, but they work pretty good. And like the heavier your drawers get, the more you can dial them up how how hard they catch. And uh, I mean. When you got a box this big, you're not, you're not moving it around. So it's like your drawers aren't going to just like 
roll open. Like I have a roll away at work. And it's an older box and yeah. Like the box isn't very good. It's an old like stainless box that Costco was selling for a while. And it doesn't have, the only way to lock the drawers is to lock the whole thing. And so I move that thing around and if I'm like on a downhill, all the drawers will fly open. And I have it bolted down to the cart so it doesn't like flip over. But, but anyway, there are nicer drawer latch systems, but for the price, you know, I'm still not gonna spend 40 grand on a snap-on box just because the, the drawer locks a little better, you know, so. Um, you don't have as many options on colors and you don't have any options on like depth and, you know, stuff like that, like you do with, you know, the other, the other big, big guys. So you're kind of limited to what, like five different colors and, you know, you're just limited to the, the one style for now. I mean, I, I'd be willing to bet they'll come out with some, some more stuff later on. They've been doing pretty good at, you know, Harbor Freight's been doing pretty good as we all know the last, I don't know, five, six years that they're just continuing to up their game. So I don't see them stopping anytime soon. I think they're doing pretty good things. So, um, yeah, some, some good points. Uh, now that it's, you know, getting loaded up, like again, I'm not still not fully moved in and I kind of bounce some tools back and forth from here to, to work. And I still got another toolbox over there with some stuff in it. But as we get, you know, drawers loaded up, you know, full, the, the, the drawers, they still slide really well. They still feel sturdy. The, the gauge thickness of the steel is the same as my, my KRL 722 snap on that I used to have. It's the same gauge thickness steel. Um, so everything's really comparable there. Um, like, I mean, the biggest thing is just the cost, right? So if you're looking at an icon box, it's because you want a, a big ass box that's pretty nice and you don't want to spend a shitload of money. I mean, they're still, they're still spendy. I mean, this, this whole setup was 13 grand. That's not, you know, it's a little bit of money, especially for a, you know, a working class mechanic, you know, that's making maybe a hundred K or less, depending on where you work and, you know, stuff like that. So where you live is a big one. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of money. So uh, but if you're going to buy, you know, I'm just going to use snap on this, this whole time as a comparison, cause that's probably the biggest guy out there. If you're going to buy a setup like this and snap on your, I don't know like specifics, but I, if I had to guess your 40, $50,000 easy. So, um, a lot of people say like, oh, you know, like, I can buy three cobalt boxes and it'll carry just as much tools and those, those big box store toolboxes, I don't even put them in the same class as this because they're all crap. Like the Craftsman's, it's all, they're all overseas just like this, but they're junk. Like if you actually go to the store and look at them and compare the thickness of the steel and if they're welded or spot welded or, you know, just the construction of them, like, like they might make them look good. You know, they might like give them a nice paint job or something, and, but they're, they're not even in the same class as this. So I don't even, you know, I've had a lot of comments on my old video guys like, Oh, I got, I got three craftsman boxes stacked up and I got more tools than that. And if that works for you, that's cool. But like, I don't, you know, I don't even talk about them cause I don't, they're not even in the same weight classes as these. So, um, as far as being happy with the purchase, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't go back to a snap on, like, even if I had a time machine, would I, you know, I would have still made the same choice. I would have sold my, I had a snap on, I had a uh, 54 inch, with two side lock or uh, two side boxes, and it was just I was starting out to grow it, and I was starting to not be able to add on to it, and so I just made the decision to sell it, and uh, 
go with this. So, and I'm happy with that decision. Going back, I wouldn't have changed it. Um, I like having all my shit in one box or, you know, eventually I'll get there. I hate, I hated having like, you know, I'll show you when I grab the camera here, but I had like this other little storage thing over here full of big tools and kits and, you know, and uh, I just got tired of it. I'm a little OCD when it comes to my tools. Like I just want them all in one spot. I want them organized. I want to know where everything's at. Like, cause that's how you're efficient, right? Like if you're sitting there digging through drawers, looking for tools, you're not making any money. Like. The faster you can get the job done and you can charge, you know, like a flat rate of time. We all know that that's, that's the way to make money as a mechanic is to be good, to be fast. So, um, yeah, it's probably enough of that. We'll, uh, we'll grab the camera here and we'll, uh, kind of walk you through, I guess how I got mine set up and what I got where. And another thing is you can move these drawers around. They're kind of a bitch, but like, I think I swapped these two drawers. You can pull the sliders off and move them around. The other thing is you can buy, like if you don't want all these skinny drawers, you can take them out and you can buy deep drawers. And they're really cheap too. They're not bad at all. I think, God, I forget, but I want to say they're like, I don't know, less than like maybe a hundred bucks for the drawer or something like that. So like you can buy all the parts for these. You know, if you wanted a bunch of deep drawers instead of these skinnies, you can buy them. So that's pretty cool. Change all that out. So I used to have a smaller box and I had a bunch of stuff over on this thing. Um, just, you know, like non hand tools type stuff like kits, you know. Uh, still got old labels on there. Axle bearing pullers. I do a lot of differentials. You know, you got all your electrical tools battery cable crimping tools, like, I mean, just a bunch of bigger stuff that doesn't really fit in a normal, I think my old one was a 54 like that with two side, side boxes, but, so, they come with some of these organizers, um, you know, they're okay for some stuff, but, so, yeah, just a bunch of kits in here, you got, you know, your standard shelves, you've got these roll out, uh, drawers here. I'll turn some more light on here. Maybe that'll help. So we don't need to open all of them, I guess. But um, see so yeah, how that works out pretty good. Um, got your got your top cabinet there. Just a bunch of PPE stuff and I don't know, randoms, I guess. So. The biggest thing I like about having a big giant ass box is I still got room for shit, right? We had one guy like, oh man, you got barely any tools. You don't need that big box. And I'm like, well, I mean, I got quite a bit of tools. Like I said, I got a lot of work too, but like, I didn't want to buy a box that I would just barely fit into. Like you're an idiot if you're, you know, it's like you gotta, you're always building for the future, right? Manuals, all the cars I build, I try to keep a separate file on. I got like, it's my old Model A, Harley Panhead, 56 Chevy, my Rock Buggy, a bunch of other ones, probably aren't even labeled. Uh, the light setup in here, kind of weird. I still haven't, I need to like get it all dialed in, but I always leave this, I always leave this hutch open. I never close it because it's in my personal shop. So I always like take this little guy off. That's how I just kind of. There's a switch too, you can hit the little button, but you know, I just grab that and let it dangle. When I want it on, I put it on. And it's kind of a mess in here right now, but um, yeah, so there's the power strip back there. You know, you got some USB ports. I like that better than having the one up here because it keeps your cords out of the way, not getting stuck in your drawers. So, YouTube stuff. Kind of funny. Anyway, these are all, they're pretty good depth, you know. You can go on Amazon and buy all these cheap little organizers. That's something I'd like to see is uh, them making some organizers for their, for their drawers that actually, you know, fit. So, anyway, kind of a mess, some of this stuff. So, this is probably the heaviest drawer. 
and uh, pull it out all the way. Like I said, you got these adjusters on the side and you can, you can adjust, it spreads these little tabs and it adjusts how hard it closes basically, or how hard, how much effort it takes to pull it open. So the heavier it is, obviously the tighter you want to go. So, uh, yeah, screwdrivers. I got, you know, I got a mix. I got Snap-on, Mac. You know, we got Blue Point, some Craftsman, some Gear Wrench, old Williams. That was my old grand, my, yeah, my grandpa's stuff. Blue Point, some Jet. I mean, we got. I don't discriminate on anybody. That's the thing with tools is like over the years you kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. You know, snap ring pliers, Nipex. Nipex or Mac or Snap-on, you, you don't skimp with the, uh, I mean, here's an old Craftsman, which isn't terrible, but one thing is you don't skimp on cheesy ass snap ring pliers because you let one of those go, you'll never find it or it'll hit you in the face. So. Anyway, some random stuff. Like, I'm not just an auto mechanic. I do a lot of fabrication and custom build stuff. So I've got a lot of kind of weird stuff that not a lot of people would, other people would have. Like just your, you know, your standard mechanics, but junk drawer, weld test coupon. Uh, yeah, a lot of this stuff I still kind of am organizing and figuring out. A mag drill, rotor brooch. So, yeah, I mean, it's I'm still working on organizing, but mm, some specialty crap, four to six liter junk, injector cup tools. What's this? Pretty much all Ford. Well, that's LS valve spring compressor. Anyway, yeah, not really a whole lot going on here. Oh my god, what the hell's in here? I don't even remember some of the shit I have. Uh, OG mics. Like I said, there's kind of no rhyme or reason. We're still moving in, but I got this extra box over here because all my three-quarter drive stuff. You know, not everything fits in in the first box. So got some bigger wrenches, two and three eighths. That's a big boy. Used to work for a marine construction company, and we moved our cranes around. And a couple of empty drawers still. Nice. We used to move cranes and stuff around. They got big bolts on cranes, so mm, polar shit. It's all for Harley. Specialty stuff. <sighs> Chain wrenches, strap wrenches, all kinds of other crap. Oh, a bunch of fabrication stuff. Knockouts, dimple dies. This is all. That's a bead Furic bead roller. That thing's badass. If you ever need to, if you do a lot of like intercooler piping and stuff for rolling beads, so your boots don't blow off. Pull saw shit. This is all for doing layout on. Like roll bar tubing. So, yeah. Uh, that's for doing uh, axle differential stuff, bearing puller, compression testers, tooling system vacuum fill stuff. Empty, empty. Anyway. So, yeah, that's kind of the deal. Oh, I took the. Uh, was it this drawer? Maybe it was this one. Yeah, so this one, they come with like a cat track for chargers and stuff. And I think it's this one down here. They have dividers for all your cordless stuff. Um, I got more than would fit in the drawer. And I already kind of had this thing made up and I like it. So we just kept that. You can make these for damn near free. It's just a bunch of old, uh, like two and a half inch PVC, I think. Or three inch, I can't remember. Um, yeah. So anyway, 
that's it a year later still rocking and rolling still liking it make sure you anise these those bolts and you can't be too picky on size and depth and all that stuff but if you want a big ass box for not a lot of money compared to other toolbox in its caliber this is the one you need so thanks for watching try not to burn me down in the comments too hard but i appreciate them all good or bad it's all makes for good conversation um, if you have any questions let me know and if you want to see some cool shit i build go check out some of my other videos we're kind of a new channel but having a lot of fun with it and we're getting better at editing and we're learning and i wish i'd have been doing this for the last 20 years because we've been building a lot of cool shit and it's kind of fun to uh to share it and get people's reactions and feedback so thanks for watching appreciate you guys we'll see you on the next one